Yeah, it's just slow. Oh, there's a one over here too. Double, double decker bus. In 350 feet, turn left, then take a slight look. In 450 feet, take a slight left, then take a slight So we are on 11 and where we are Jax? The Flamingo Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Yeah, that one. So ayan na guys, we just get our key. And we are 11. Very, very pink. Yeah! And fall down. I wasn't wanting to. What I do, they kind of, it's a very long hallway. Oh, look at that, guys. And look at that. They don't like their hallway here. It's a really long field. It's so, yeah. Not too bad. You have to go about 15 more rooms. Oh. I think on the left, we look at the strip. And on the right. We've got a strip view room. Which I think if you go and find down, I think we look at the Caesar's Palace across the street. Oh, I look forward to getting really fast. Okay, this is more. Okay, we're going to be down the far end. 
we get three exercises and come with the No, Ross. It's a lot of energy. So this is our room, guys. 1102. And Jax and I will have a quick tour. Bago tayo lumabas later. So this is the room. Oh, yeah, looking for chicken lobby of a Caesar Palace. And over real Caesar didn't live there. Because I was just hanging it up. My bag's here for now. So guys, here room, the uh, strip uh, view room of a flamingo. Uh, sorry, yeah, it's the flamingo room, the strip view. So we have a nice bright light up thing. Excuse my bad hair, I've just been wearing a hat. Aww. So we have towels there, face washes, whatnot, lotion, hand wash, varying dispensers, makeup mirror, very bright, nice white lights here. Um, there's a hair dryer there, more toilet paper. Uh, sink, uh, walk-in shower here. Walk-in shower with body wash, conditioner, shampoo on the wall. Nice big shower head here. We have um, toilet. We have an dynamo around here somewhere. So where do you put their mattress? Oh, probably have a roof. Remember, there's a lot of towers there. Um, so we have storage here, just drawers. Uh, looking here as well, there's an iron, there's a bunch of coat hangers, there's an ironing board, the luggage rack. There's a wild in dynamo. Yeah! There's a full length mirror so you can check yourself out, stop in dynamo. Yeah! How are you doing? Uh, we have a telephone here. Uh, we have some nice flamingo wall out there, yeah! of flamingos. I think there must be a thingy here, there we go. So flamingo wall out there. We have storage beside there. I don't know if there's a Bible in here. No oh, Bible on this side. There's no light here. Yeah. There you go. So we have a king size. Actually, uh, that looks like a king size bed. It's quite wide. Um, so I just know well, there's the USB ports and two uh, power points on each side of the, um, the drawers there. Uh, there's these cool flamingo lamps as well. So that's empty. Yeah, no, no Bible in this one. There's a chase lounge here. There's some more wall art here. There's more power points. So if we go over here, there's a fridge. This isn't a mini bar. It's actually so you can store your own stuff in here. Because some of the places are mini bars and you can't actually um, store any, anything in there because as soon as you move stuff out of the way, it charges you on room service. So we have a safe here as well. There's an ice bucket there and a couple of cups. So I don't know if this one actually comes with like a coffee machine or anything like that, and like no pasta lubong. So there's a couple of little chairs there. There's an dynamo in front of a window. There's like a chase lounge so you can um, be drawn like a French lady. So here we are. So across the street, you can actually see the nightclub across the street there. You have a Colosseum to the right, which is I think where Adele is currently playing. If I turn to the right, you see the Mirage. You see more signs for Caesar's Palace. I'll get behind the curtain here because I'll block the light out. So there you can see the main towers of Caesar's Palace. Um, I think Absinthe is down there. You've got Hell's Kitchen. There's a few um, entry sort of uh, fountains down there as well. You can see the lights there. The Bellagio fountain is to the very far left. So you can just see it. You've got Cosmopolitan. There's the main Bellagio building. Um, the Cromwell is to the left there, but you can barely see that. Um, you see the Park MGM in the very far corner. The Cosmopolitan, the area is behind that. A few helicopters going around, which is probably what we're going to be doing. Yeah! You can see the Rio in the distance. And the link is to the right of us, so you can just see the Flylink zipline sign there. Yeah! So that's the room tour here for the Flamingo. Uh, there's another in Dynamo, yeah! so we'll probably just deposit our stuff. Um, it's 5:20 p.m. We'll probably get changed. I might have a quick shower because I think I smell a little bit um, bar hole from a plane ride. Um, we'll get ready and then we'll find our way. Uh, we're having dinner at the Bacchanal Buffet, which I think is like the top-rated buffet here in Las Vegas yeah! in terms of the food choice and yeah, the quality of food. Expensive, yes. 
but yeah, it was our first night, so we'll treat ourselves. Yeah! And then I guess we'll do a walk around and check out what's along here. It's been, yeah! just trying to think of how many years it's been since I've been here. It's probably 2015, I think. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, so yes, we'll go for a walk and we'll take you with a spit later on. Okay, bye guys. Boop. So I did say it shits all over Macau. It's bigger than Macau. Like Macau split up too much and not all in a row. Look Yeah, the last time I stayed right in my, the centre of that Bellagio Tower over like the middle there. Oh, there might be another. There's some lingo there as well. I might see my jacket later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear you, Bumbu. No, nah, well, all I have is one I wore before, and it gave me. Um, I was a bit bajo. I said you put the jacket. The blue one, where's that? The blue one? Oh, you, you don't bring in sports house. No, nah, I had plenty of puffy jackets there, but I didn't bring any. Because you don't know this is cold here. Yeah, I know. We didn't realise it was cold until we got to bloody. Um, like you're in Hawaii. Oh. The seas are up there. That's Hell's Kitchen, I think. Yeah, this is. But the one I want you to see in the California one. Oh, Sting is playing sometime. Okay, I think we just keep going straight and I can escape the uh, uh, Hell's Kitchen there. Yeah, you probably have to make a book here or something. That's probably my hole too. So I have to use that tent there. We are now at Caesars Palace. Welcome to Caesars yeah. Palace. It's a real luxury hotel and casino located on the Las Vegas Strip in Las Vegas, Nevada. Caesars Palace opened in 1966 and quickly became an iconic landmark on the Las Vegas Strip. It is known for its Roman-inspired architecture and theme, capturing the grandeur and opulence of ancient Rome. So sad. 
Caesar's Palace offers a wide range of luxurious accommodations including guest rooms, suites, and villas. The rooms are allegedly appointed with modern amenities and sound suites over breathtaking views of the Las Vegas skyline or the iconic Villagio Fountains. So a lot of the shops in the casino, they don't actually show pricing at all, so it's usually always a surprise. And even like when you go to convenience stores, like you don't know the prices until you check out and apparently they have like surge pricing so different times of the day and they can sort of make up their own pricing. And sometimes I might get like a five dollar bottle of water. Like the casino at Caesar's Palace is one of the largest and most famous in Las Vegas. It features a vast gaming floor with a wide selection of slot machines, table games, and a dedicated poker room. Whether you're a novice or a seasoned gambler, you'll find plenty of options to try your luck. Yes, cover the tita. Okay, you have to put a smiley face over David. But uh, I don't think you put details on the thing. Well, Mahal, I see Fendi and all the rest of the usual stuff. Uh, let's see. Caesar's Palace is known for hosting world-class entertainment shows and performances. The Coliseum, a 4,300-seat theater, has been the venue of iconic residencies by legendary artists such as Celine Dion, Elton John, and Rod Stewart. Additionally, the absent show offers a unique and provocative circus-style performance. I don't know if this is where the cheesecake shop is and it's got the... There's like a show out of that fountain. But granted we won't be here because it probably goes off for my hour. Caesar's Palace offers an array of dining options to satisfy every palate. From upscale fine dining restaurants like Restaurant Guy Savoy and Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen to casual eateries and celebrity chef branded restaurants, there is a wide range of culinary experiences to choose from. The Forum Shops at Caesar's Palace is a primary shopping destination featuring a mix of high-end fashion brands, luxury boutiques, and unique specialty shops. It offers a luxurious shopping experience with its Roman-inspired architecture, marble statues, and stunning fountains. Caesar's Palace boasts an impressive pool complex known as the Garden of the Gods Pool Oasis. It features several royal pools, each with its own unique atmosphere and design including a swim up blackjack table a 50,000 square foot pool deck and luxurious cabanas for rent see what's in here i have no idea what time of day is who the hell wears that stuff That's weird, I got Pandora and a mixture of all this other stuff. Unless I've got like fancy Pandora. There's probably well, there's diamonds there. Because I, I thought Pandora is usually always like mostly cheap stuff, not like gemstones. white ones too. They're probably Mahal. My cheesecake factory is down there. These giant H&M. Like three-story H&M. Caesar's Palace is synonymous with luxury, entertainment, and indulge. It offers a world-class experience in the heart of the Las Vegas Strip, providing guests with a taste of ancient Rome combined with modern amenities and entertainment options.
you just get out there if you're walking there. There's already like a gauntlet set up. Do you tax support? So it's like the Venetian, but there's no canal. So I think we still loop here and we'll walk back. Oh, I'm actually tracking my steps today. Oh, it's not open all the time. Thursday to Monday on the hour, staying at noon and going to 8pm. Not Tuesday and Wednesday. So we're too early guys, wrong day. Giant Paso Lubong. I'm quite gauged by their their t-shirts. Hey on. Yeah, great cheese cake. Oh, there's like a whole fish up there. It's like a little mini school. I can't see it in the reflection. I think that's usually on. It's not like one of those robotic shows with like I think fire and smoke and stuff. Well, it's only just close two days a week, and on. Okay, I'm catching the buffet. The Bacchanal Buffet is a popular dining destination located at Caesars Palace on the Las Vegas Strip in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, let me... Okay, I've got tuna uh, salmon nigiri, tuna nigiri, have his brisket, some mac and cheese, leche on there, lumpia, some brie cheese. That was like, hey, Dynamo's already eaten her bits. Okay, have crab boards here, shrimp, cooked shrimp, lox claws, tiny thing there. Okay, uh, pot stickers, par gal, and shell I think. And there's the leftover of a seafood. So, banana cream ice cream, creme brulee, chocolate donut, that is uh, tiramisu, chocolate lava cake. Raspberry panna cotta and egg tart. 
Um. Nabacana Buffet is known for its extensive and diverse selection of food options. It offers a wide range of cuisines from around the world including American, Italian, Asian, Mexican, and more. The buffet features numerous stations each specializing in different types of dishes such as seafood, sushi, barbecue, pasta, desserts, and many more. The Bacchanal Buffet prides itself on using high-quality ingredients and fresh produce. Many dishes are prepared in front of guests, ensuring a fresh and made-to-order experience. The buffet emphasizes quality and variety to cater to different tastes and preferences. The Bacchanal Buffet provides a sophisticated and upscale atmosphere. The dining area is spacious and elegantly designed, creating a comfortable and visually appealing environment for guests to enjoy their meal. The buffet offers interactive elements such as live cooking stations where chefs prepare dishes right in front of guests. It adds engaging and entertaining aspect to the dining experience, allowing guests to observe the culinary techniques and customization of their food. The Bacchanal Buffet is known for its stand-up dishes and specialties. Some popular favorites include crab legs, prime rib, handmade dim sum, wood fire pizzas, and a vast array of delectable desserts including gelato, pastries, and unique sweet treats. Due to its popularity, it's recommended to make reservations in advance for the Bacchanal Buffet, especially during peak dining hours. The buffet can get quite busy and wait times may vary, making a reservation helpful ensure a smoother dining experience. The Bacchanal Buffet is priced at a higher range compared to typical buffets in Las Vegas, reflecting its premium quality and extensive offerings. Prices may vary depending on the time of the day, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and whether it's a weekday or weekend. The Bacchanal Buffet offers a luxurious and diverse dining experience allowing guests to indulge in a wide range of delicious dishes from various culinary traditions. It's a popular choice for those seeking a high-quality buffet experience on the Las Vegas Street. We are now done our Bacchanal Buffet and we are out of Caesar Palace. The night is young so we decided to walk around the Las Vegas Strip. Actually, this will take us across to what's ATM got like blinds on it. Oh, oh there's the Paris. You should borrow the Andes. I know. I know. It probably fit me too. Yeah, it's large. That one going on there. There's a Cromwell. We are now walking to Bellagio where we can see the Bellagio fountain. Oh, there's advertising for better Babae. I mean, we'll walk outside and we'll do the outside loop. Maybe we could cross. 
Yeah, well, we're walking down that way. And this one? Probably see a uh, uh, canal or something. Oh, boy, there. Oh, God, no. I just got a copy and paste of other more. It's all the social. We are out of Villajo and now we are at the main of Las Vegas Strip. Las Vegas is a vibrant and bustling city located in the state of Nevada in the western United States. Las Vegas is renowned for its world-class entertainment, extravagant resorts, and lively casinos. The Las Vegas Strip is the main hub of activity, lined with iconic hotels, resorts, and casinos featuring elaborate themes, entertainment shows, and a variety of gaming options. Las Vegas offers a wide range of accommodation options to suit different budgets and preferences from luxurious resorts like the Villajo, Venetian, and MGM Grand to more affordable hotels, there is something for everyone. We are going to watch the Bellagio Fountain is also known as the Fountains of Bellagio. It's a famous and iconic attraction located in front of the Bellagio Hotel and Casino on the Las Vegas Strip in Las Vegas, Nevada. The Bellagio Fountain shows take place throughout the day and evening, with performances occurring every 30 minutes in the afternoons and evenings. The schedule may vary, so it's recommended to check the official Bellagio website or inquire at the hotel for the most up-to-date show times. The Bellagio Fountain is a choreographed water show that combines water, music, and light to create a captivating display. The fountains are set in a large man-made lake that spans over 8.5 acres. The music for today's evening of the Bellagio Fountain is the BTS, so due of the music of the BTS, we need to put some music. Each Villajo Fountain show is synchronized to a specific musical soundtrack which includes a wide range of genre from classical and Broadway tunes to popular contemporary songs. The music enhances the visual spectacle of the water display. The water jets of Villajo Fountain can shoot water as high as 460 feet or 140 meters into the air. The fountain's choreography and design create a dynamic and mesmerizing show with the water jets dancing in synchronized with the music and various patterns and movements. There are several vantage points to view the Bellagio Fountain Show. The most popular spot is the designated viewing area located on the sidewalk in front of the Bellagio Hotel. The show can also be seen from various points along the Las Vegas Strip including from neighboring hotels and pedestrian bridges. The Bellagio Fountain shows are free and open to the public. Visitors do not need to be guests of the Bellagio Hotel or have any special passes to enjoy the spectacle. It's a popular attraction that draws large crowds, especially during peak hours and weekends. The Bellagio Fountain offers fantastic photo and video opportunities especially during the evening shows when the lights are synchronized with the water display. Capturing the water dancing in synchronized with iconic music makes for stunning visual memories for your time in Las Vegas. Do rotate the songs and stuff as well. I'll play for as long as maybe five to ten minutes a minute. 
The Bellagio Fountain is a must-see attraction that combines music, water, and visual artistry in a mesmerizing display. It's a popular spot for tourists and locals alike, offering a magical experience on the Las Vegas Strip. Yeah, I do. It's very calm.